Absolutely sensational. I surprise myself sometimes when I might cook it. It was good. Let's do one more. Hi, I'm Matt Moran, and welcome to Kitchen Tales. There's nothing I like more than catching up with mates while I cook for them in my kitchen, where all the best stories are told. Yeah, right. Give me your hat. There we go, like that. There you go. <laughs> Even Matt Moran makes mistakes. Makes mistakes, I do. No! <laughs> so join us in the kitchen. I'm looking forward to sharing their kitchen tales with you. It's better than I thought, actually. Look at that, and the cat's helping. <laughs> so my next guest is an absolute saint, and believe it or not, has cooked more meals than I could even dream of. She's on a mission to fight food waste and to feed the hungry. It's the founder of Oz Harvest, Ronnie Khan, and she's here right now. I'll go and get her. Hey, Ronnie. Hello. How are you, sweet? You good, right? and you? Very good, very good. Welcome. Awesome. Thank come you Come in, so come in, come in. Oh, I've got some treats for you. Ronnie, it's so exciting to have you in my house. Once again, you've been here before. I know, and I'm so excited because oh. I land up eating exquisite food, though I have no idea what you're doing today. No, you have no idea. Now, I've taken everything in that you've you told me on the phone, mm -hmm. um, and I just thought, just to start with, I'd give you a little bit of hummus that you can just start eating. And Now, I'm going to cook you a roast chook. Um, but, but. Um, because of Oz Harvest and what you're about, I thought I'd roast a chook, but then I would use it three times. So there's no wastage whatsoever. Well, I love that. That's the words I want to hear. No and wastage. Now, as I said, chook three ways. But as we're all guilty of when we buy sourdough or we make sourdough, it becomes stale. Um, totally. A lot of people just throw it out or you know, give it to the ducks outside or whatever else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to roast the chook on top of it, oh like garlic my bread. Well, so you know that, that one of the most exquisite dishes in Middle Eastern cooking. Yeah. It's called musahan. And they take pita or bread. Yep. And I ate it the very first time in Jericho. And they take the chicken and roast it on the bread. Yeah, right. Yeah. And you get that bread with all the juices. It's the best. Are you telling me that's what you that's make? That's exactly what today? I'm gonna do. Oh so, my god. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil on the bottom. Not too much. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put the bread down. Now, Ronnie, how did you get into food waste and Oz Harvest? You know, I love entertaining myself. Yep. But my business, yeah, you wouldn't think so because I don't do that much. Yep. <laughs> but my business before Oz Harvest was an event producer. Yep. I never wanted anyone to have to go to Macca's on the way home. Yep. So my tables groaned. And for years and years, I let food go to waste because, as you know, Matt, yep. when you start an event, yep. you start really early in the morning, yep. you finish really late at night. By the time the people who've been dealing with food are done, God, they just want to get the hell out of there. Yep. You know, I let that happen for many years, quite honestly, until I one day had an epiphany when I saw just this extraordinarily ridiculous amount of food going to waste. Yeah. And I just started rogue rescuing food. Right. I put so it in it started, my cup. It started that small. Totally. In my van, the end of an event, yep. just taking the food to the one place that I knew. And, and that's then that's how literally it how it all started. It's amazing. It's, I could take my hat off to you. How many, how many meals do Oz Harvest produce a year? Well, I just got some stats. For this year, this yep. particular year, this COVID year, yep. and this year we have delivered from the 1st of March to the 15th of March, which I think was on Monday, I think it's 34,329,458 meals. 34 million? Yeah. In one year? Yeah. Apart from saying it. that you're an absolute saint. Oh, said that well. you, you've cooked more meals than I could <laughs> even dream of because if I could cook 34 million meals in one year and get some money for it, God, I'd be a wealthy man. Well, if I could get money for it, I too would be a wealthy woman <laughs> or we would have stopped food waste. Um, so what I've done, I've just put some bread down, stale bread, uh, butter, 
a little bit of garlic, so it all soaks into you it. You call that a little bit? Yeah, I little saw how much garlic went on. Yeah, Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it'll, it'll cook, so it'll be a little bit more mellow. Okay. Some kibble potatoes, face down, so they get nice and crispy. Um, some carrots, uh, onions, and some beetroots, which have already been cooked because beetroots are quite firm. Uh, um, so, can you tell me how, how did you cook them when you say already cooked? Um, Just boiled or? Boiled, um, okay. fresh, with a uh, little bit of vinegar, a little bit of sugar just to give that little bit of acid. Um, okay. Because, you yeah, know, beetroot can be a little bit bland too. Yep. And then just peel them off. And, okay. uh, and there the beetroot. You can see the skin is still sort of sticking off there. Yeah. Um, chook, I've stuffed it with a lemon and some herbs. I Put some garlic that. in there too. Why not? And what I'm going to do is, I've got a little bit of confit garlic. And that's something people can always do with garlic, you know, rather than wasting it. Yeah. They've got too much. Um, put a little, a little bit of olive oil, heat it up really gently and then just confit it and you can keep it forever. So I'm just going to oh. rub a little bit of that over the chook. Divine. And some oil, some beautiful Aussie Olsen sea salt. Mm -hmm. And then just rub that all over and just sit that on there, roast it for a bit over an hour. Um, and then we have a beautiful roast chook. I'm just going to put more olive oil over those veggies and a few more herbs in there too. A bit over an hour. And that's going to be the, the, the first meal, which is, of course, roast chook. Talk about composting, you've actually made me a better person. I don't know whether you've seen one of these or not. No. Uh, I have a big composter which I've used for years. Food scraps on the bench, always smell. This one here, which is a, a Breville, it's, you put everything so in there. Yeah. And, and you then put what? it into this machine over here. You're kidding. And you push go and it dehydrates it, um, it grinds it and then cools it and you end up with little eco chips. Look at that. That is unbelievable. <laughs> I Pretty mean, cool. for people who live in apartments, yep. it's so useful. I mean, I've got a garden, but just have this sitting on your bench top is pretty neat. And you Amazing. fill it up and off you go. Um, and the, looks... the next dish I'm going to do, I'm going to make a, a chicken stock, which I've yeah. already made some, but I'll show everyone how to do it. So I've just got the little uh, aromatics yet, yeah. which I'm going to put into a pot. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put some sweet corn. Okay. The reason being I put sweet corn, it actually sweeten the, the chicken stock. Mm. Um, and sweet corn is obviously very sweet. Okay. Uh, I've got some, some herbs there that I'm going to throw in. Um, I'm going to whack in two chicken thighs. Okay. Um, the reason being is uh, I want the meat off that for something else later on. And I'll show you. And I'm going to take this off the bone. Look at that. Pink on the bone. To me, that's just the best. So cut two legs off. Mm -hmm. See all that juice there too. Yeah. I can't waste that. So juicy. Oh my God. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That chicken's and tried to escape. Yeah, I know. That's, my, that's the garlic bread. That's still a bit hot. If I just grab that there, look at that. Oh. Look how crunchy that is. Oh my God. And you can just see it's nice and soft. I actually. Am I going to get to eat any, yeah, any of this? I can oh, give you some now. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't let that get crispy on top because yeah. I want the. It's really crispy on the bottom, and I want that softest on top there. So I'm just going to put that over there, mm. and I'm going to grab uh, one of these takeaways because you're going to take this home. Oh, but I'll let you eat some of that. Me. So I'm going to just take that off the bone, nice and pink on the bone. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you one roast chook to take away, oh, and the other that one is unbelievable. The other one, look God. how juicy that is. I like to roast a chook, and then I'm going to keep all those juices. Yeah. And then with the bones left at the end. Yeah. Ah, it's going to go. I'll leave that there for now into there. With its stuffing and the lemon and yep, all yep, of that yumminess. Yep. I've just got some water there. Well, that's actually a little bit of extra chicken stock. Yeah. And I'm gonna, but you know, normally you just have water. Yeah. And I'm just gonna bring that to the boil. Yep. Let that cook for about oh, an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have a beautiful chicken soup. 
I'm going to, that's the second dish, right? So that's yeah. dish one, which yeah. is roast. Yeah. And this is going to be the second one. Yeah. I'm going to put that over there, actually. Oh, jeez. See all the sweet corn and everything in there, too? Oh, yeah. And heaps of flavour in it. Yeah. I'm just going to bring that to the boil. I've already checked the seasoning on that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make matzo ball soup. You kidding me? No. Because, no. You know, I might I, cry. I don't know whether it's going to be. I've never really I made lots cry. of matzo. Uh -huh. I might cry. <laughs> that is the most delicious, sweetest thing you could ever make. But there's another dish that I'm going to do in between. So I've got one roast chook that I'm going to oh let God. you take away. I'm going to keep yeah. that leg. And I'm going to put the bread. Yeah. I'm going to let you eat a little bit of it first. Oh, put that Can I there. eat it now? You can eat it now. Because I don't want to let it go. I'm going to put all your veggies in there. Actually, oh my god. Matt? Good? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Absolutely sensational. I surprise myself sometimes when I'm out cooking. I <laughs> love that. That is so cute. Right. Because I'm going to give you so much to eat, that's going to be the takeaway. It is beyond delicious. Look at that. How nice is that? Right, so I'm going to pack that up later and that's going to be your takeaway. And also, mm -hmm. people got to realise confoil is actually recyclable, yeah? Mm -hmm. Really important. A lot of people think that it's not. And yep. it is. So that's just going to go in there for you later. So, Ronnie, the next dish is matzo ball soup. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never made matzo ball soup before, um, so and I know you're an expert, so go easy on me. Okay, but you do not know how moved and touched <laughs> I am oh, that's sweet. that you chose to make that Good. an experiment, and it's just exquisite. Well, it's and a little bit out of my comfort zone too, so you know I've made good soup before. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, matzo but ball not soup. matzo ball soup that you know my granny inculcated in me, my mother. Yeah, right. Divine. So that, that's the that's the the balls. Okay. Um, or will be, which is matzo meal. Okay. There's some egg in there. There's some fresh herbs in there. I can see the herbs. A little yep. bit of chicken fat. Yeah. You know, just schmaltz. For flavor. It's schmaltz. called yeah. schmaltz good, in good. your dish. I'm telling you something that you already knew. knew. No, no, but I'm interested to know how, what you put in it. Remember the chicken soup in the beginning? I put those of two course. thighs. That's the two thighs. So ah. what I was going to do yeah. is uh, I've just taken all the skin and everything off. Yeah. Um, which you know we love the flavour of it, but. It can also go in that. Oh, amazing. Just can't put bones in it. Okay. So I'm just going to take some of the, the meat off. Yeah. Which has been sort of poached. And I'm yeah. just going to sort of sprinkle that through. Like oh just not shred it too yeah. much. Yeah. So I like chunks of it. Yeah. I'm just going to put that in the soup. Just so it's got a little bit of texture through it. Totally. So that is the second, third usage of the chicken. Well, yeah, yep. the soup Stunning. mainly. Yeah. I've added these thighs. You could use the, the roast thigh also. Yeah. Take the skin off, but I'm not. I'm going to leave that for something else. So they're quite different shape. They're not just always round, are they? Well, they're made in your hands. So it's yeah, right. how it's with the imprint of your right. hands. So they can be... See, I'm learning you know. something. Yeah, it's all about, you know, made with love. Um, these, these are made with love. I've tried one Seriously. earlier. Yeah, and, and was it delicious? I have to, to be honest with you. <laughs> It I've, wasn't your I've, cup of tea. No, I've never, I've never, I've never made matzo ball soup before, but I've eaten it. You know, I've got a lot of, of Jewish course. friends, and I love yeah. Shabbat on a Friday night. Yeah. You know, one of my favourite things. Yeah. But I've always found them to be quite, um, quite bland. Oh, totally. Well, but, I, we don't normally put herbs in. it. Don't you? Right. Not. Well, I, I've probably added to it. <laughs> I love it. I have to say, mine, my one I tried, I really enjoyed it. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was much better than all my Jewish, all my Jewish I love mothers. It. You can see it's just falling off the bone yeah. too. To me, it's just, yeah. I love the thigh. Mm -hmm. The thigh meat to me is always, always yeah, the best. because the white is always a little drier. Yeah. Not as tender, I think. We always fight at home, with my kids particularly. Yep, um, my family the, too. About the, who gets the thighs and who gets the legs. All right, yep. um, I'm going to get a bigger bowl actually. Mm. Bit of noise. Right, bowl. I'm not going to cut the chicken up too much. Yeah. So I'm just chunky. going to chunky. Now I know it's got a little bit of salt in it. Mm -hmm. Right, so we've got our chicken in there. Um, I've got a little bit of mustard. Mm -hmm. 
Dijon, a little bit of, um, this is Kewpie mayonnaise, you know, the Japanese mayonnaise, so it's oh, a little yes. bit sweeter. Yeah. So I'm just going to put enough there to sort of coat it. Mm -hmm. You put gherkins in it, you can put capers in it. I'm going to put a little bit of creme fraiche mm. for a little bit of tartness. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to mix it around. Now, what you really taste in this, Ronnie, is yes. the, remember I put the sweet corn in? Yeah. You'll really get a lot of that flavour of the sweet corn. So it should be a quite a, a sweet um, chicken soup. Oh, that looks seriously. This is going to be a taste yeah. test of half, isn't it? I'm going to try it too. Okay. I've still got that one dish to do with the chicken off cuts. First time tasting your broth. Mm. Oh, sweet corn. Oh, it is delicious. Isn't it? Mm, I can taste the corn. You can, can't you? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Well, my family aren't going to know what's hit them this Passover. Today. So I'm just going to, really simple, no butter or anything, because you've got all that, mm -hmm. um, you know, cream and mayonnaise in there. I'm just going to fill that up. Mm. I don't oh, like it. I don't like it minced too much. I like it nice and mm, thick. Chunky. Chunky. And I'm just going to put that on top. Squash it down. But I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of oil over the top. Oh my God! Testies will never be the same either. And then I'm going to toast it. House. Squash it. I can smell it, Ronnie. I am excited. Because... I don't know what it is, but I love fresh bread. Yeah. But I love fresh bread when it's just crunchy on the outside and nice and soft on the inside. So I've squashed that down a little bit. Oh my God. Oops. Oh, that looks sensitive. That chicken. And when the skin heats up a little bit, I just love it. All right. You're going to let that cool a little bit. One's yours and one's mine. Phenomenal. And then we don't need that stuff anymore, do no, we? No, and I'm putting that there. Oh, yeah, crispy and golden. I'll give you your little plate, actually. There you go. Thank you. I think it's still too hot to eat. It is too hot to eat. Last thing to do, all the scraps from the soup. Mm-hmm. Whack in. Can I show you how to use it? Now I'm just putting the bucket in the Breville Food Cycler. How long does it take? Do so, know? end of each day, whack it in there, push it overnight, it takes about six hours. Unreal. Mm. Eat a little ego chips at the end, over the garden, beautiful. Love it. One last thing I've got to give you. Ronnie, last thing. Don't forget you take away oh chicken. Oh my God, I come to you for lunch and I leave with exquisite food. And dinner too. Uh, phenomenal. Love you. Thank you so much. What a treat.